Hello, this is a Bird Watching Academy production, and I'm Bird Girl. Ah! Oh, I seem to have forgotten the water. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm on a mission to learn more about birds. Want to join me? Let's go. Today we are ankle deep in a beautiful lakeside because there's a good probability we'll see a bird here. I would recommend not getting wet whilst bird watching as I'm already beginning to feel a bit cold. I also learned that there's a boardwalk right over there, so let's do that. Nothing stops the determined. Onward! Is that a statue of a bird? Oh, oh no, it's definitely a bird. Slowly, come over here, guys. This is the great blue heron. Heron. Heron, heron, tomato, tomato. The great blue heron is the most common heron in all of North America. It's sometimes referred to as a crane. And as you can tell from my general wetness, great blue herons like wet places with fresh or salt water, like lakesides, riverbeds, marshlands, or even an ocean pier. The great blue heron can be found from Alaska and Canada all the way to the Caribbean. These birds love water because it's where they get their favorite meal, fish. They hunt for fish by slowly stalking in the water and then holding very still, like very still. Oh, itch got me. Then they strike using their long neck and long dagger-like beak to catch a fish. <laughs> and occasionally they hunt for reptiles, amphibians, and other small mammals that live near the water. <gasps> oh no! What? When it's time for the eggs to arrive, the male heron presents the female with nesting materials. Great blue herons like to start their families in a group or colony. So when you find one heron nest in a tree or on the ground, you're likely to find many. The female will lay three to seven pale blue eggs, which both mom and dad take care of. When those mini herons crack that eggshell, mom and dad feed them by chewing up food and spitting it into their mouths. We call this regurgitation. Yum. Oh, would you like some pretzels? Let me get that ready for you. Great blue heron style. With <laughs> one moment. <laughs> Here you go. I hope you get to see one of these amazing birds someday. You can know it's a great blue heron by identifying its blue-gray plumage. Long neck, long sharp beak, long rusty red legs, huge wingspan, like huge sharp claws, and its signature wide black stripe above the eye. What? It's cool, okay? Right, moving on. You can also identify the great blue heron by listening for its call. It's kind of squawky, right? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
I know the great blue heron is a shy bird, but it can be provoked, and I just laughed at its squawk. I mean, call! <laughs> so sorry about that. Thank you for showing us yourself. And thank you, friends, for learning about the wonderful, magnificent great blue heron with me today. Keep an eye out and an ear open for our other bird friends. I'm going to need a towel. Till next time. Uh. Ha, 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 ha.